I hate hearing people nowadays that go, well, I come from a real tough place. Everybody, if I tell them, I'm like, that's the same old story that I want to hear and I want to sound like that, like I'm trying to push that, but it's hardcore. Baby girl, love my bop and I like me too. Stockton homicides are on another record pace. Gangs and drugs continue to flourish. Homicide up 100%. Gang violence is exploding in Stockton. Baby girl, love my bop and I like me too. Stockton's murder rate quickly shot back up in 2019, a five-year high. There is a lot of violence going on here, a lot of killing. You ready for this? Are you ready? What the fuck are you giving him weight for? Don't lose this battle right now. Five matches. Or you got limp. I remember leaving school with all my boys and we'd be going to the park to kick it or whatever and we'd see my brother running down the street with a sweatshirt on and doing workouts and stuff. Everybody would be like, hey, there goes your brother working out all the time, what's his problem, you know? I'm like, I don't know, that's what he likes to do. One day I remember he's just like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just hanging out. He's like, why don't you come train with me? And he threw a pair of gi pants at me. I didn't have nothing else to do, so I was like, all right, let's go. He was just a wide-eyed normal 14 year old kid and he comes in and he's seeing all these guys grappling and boxing and fighting nathan had never wrestled never boxed never done jujitsu a guy like jake shields and gilbert melendez these are guys that were wrestlers had some stand up nathan got there and he's the kid that had to sink or swim i'm better going to train like he normally did and he was like, you better come with me and train before I knew it. And I'm like, hey, you're fine. Robert, Limon, Tihon, Nathan Diaz, Craig. It's not like he wants to kill. He just doesn't want to die. We just fucking train every day. It survives me. Yeah. Train hard. But I'm a soldier. I always survive. I constantly come back. You know what I mean? Only thing that can kill me is death. That's the only thing that'll ever stop me is death. Oh, I hated it. I hated it. I wanted nothing to do with this show. They called, they're like, hey, we want Nate on season five. And they called Caesar and they called Nick. And they're like, hey, hey we want him on season five. And I, I, they told me, I said, laughed at him like I was mixed, you know? I said, <laughs> going on that, I'm not going on that show. And then Nick and Caesar look at me and they're like, I think you should go on that show. Throwing coal around, picking him up by his underwear. <laughs> He's laughing the whole time like it was funny, and I'm like, God, it's not funny. Get mad and try to fight me. Get back, homie. What? What, motherfucker? Why are you looking at me like this? Serious? You're the one looking at me all serious? You are telling me you're close enough. Is that right? Stop. 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 Manny, I'm sorry, John. You're my boy. I think Nate Diaz is a well rounded, tough kid. And this is one of those fights, who knows, man? This, this is an interesting fight.
On behalf of the UFC, uh, you are the lightweight ultimate fighter. You get the six-figure contract with the UFC. Congratulations, buddy. You're the winner. Fighting out of Stockton, California. people to know like sometimes people think the ultimate fighters are sheltered not me i'm looking for no sheltering you know what i'm saying This is the Dos Anjos show so far. Those are some solid elbows by Dos Anjos. Nate, Nate is in real trouble here. Big elbow by Dos Anjos. He is busting up Nate Diaz Absolutely. in all aspects. He's not a needle mover. His brother is a needle mover. He's not. Nate, Nate was always great. Lowest rated box show ever. Big shots by Dos Anjos. Once the leg kicks landed by the Brazilian. 21. Wow. wow. See him limp away. Another big fight. It is the return of the 209's own Nathan Diaz. Michael Johnson, I think, is just going to uh, walk down Nate Diaz here for three rounds. Johnson is the heavy favorite, minus 435 up to minus 550. Is he really going to be a threat in this lightweight division anymore? I don't think he is. I think Nate Diaz really isn't relevant anymore. Nate Diaz, he's been decoded. His game is outdated. So I just expect Michael Johnson to have much higher level uh, boxing technique in this fight. The things that Michael Johnson has going for him in this fight far outweigh what Nate Diaz has going for him, and there are different stages in their career. I don't give him a fuck. Oh, Nate Diaz getting loose, and he's laughing at him now. He's putting a lot of pressure, and he's landed a lot. There he yeah. goes again. Oh, he heard him there, and Nate just pointed to him. He said, oh, I heard you. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Johnson, how do you feel about it? 
Fuck that. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, motherfucker. I'm going to fight your fucking ass. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real shit right here. Conor McGregor. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Me and Enemies Jesus are killed. Close. I'm killed with all the gods. Ten toes down, gods recognize the gods. The hype behind all of this, very few human beings in this world will ever experience anything remotely similar. I do it again. McGregor was scheduled to fight lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos March 5th in Vegas until Dos Anjos withdrew from the bout. All right, Dana, uh, the show will go on, so who is McGregor going to fight? He will fight Nate Diaz. UFC 196, as our featherweight champion, Conor McGregor, moves up to welterweight to take on Nate Diaz. I like Nick's little bro. I do. He's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. But at the same time, but at the same time, he coaches kids to jitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. They ring home to their wife. Baby, we did it. Nate rings Nick. Baby, we did it. If you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. <laughs> You're just praying you can survive. Like, it's that knockout, otherwise it's gonna be a f***ed up night for him. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate Diaz! Nate Diaz, in my opinion, is gonna be the most difficult test of Conor McGregor's career. This man, the notorious Conor McGregor, may very well be, Joe, not just fighting, the biggest star in the world today. Ready for a bite, Nate Diaz. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves, if you wish. Let's do this. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor. Here we go. Good left hand just yes. Conor the aggressor here early. Good right hand landed by Diaz. Some blood on the right side of the face of Nate Diaz. Takes him down. Round one in the books. Nathan Diaz, biggest fight of his life. Round two. Excellent exchanges here. Good stylistic matchup. Strong jab by Nate. Nate Diaz oh, making up some ground here in the second round. A big difference that up here. Oh, he 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 that now Connor isn't less than 100 percent Oh my goodness! Combination! And he turned the tank into a breaker here. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> They're the new king of this motherfucker now, and it's right here, all right? This was not surprising to you? You're, you're not looking at, as a, at, at it as an upset? No, I knew I was the superior boxer, the, the superior martial artist, uh, super, superior jiu-jitsu. I been, came from, like I said, from the beginning. I had the best training partners in the world. Coming to this fight is straight. Fat boy off the beach in Cabo. <laughs> Oh, yo, John Ennick better get a motherfucking 209 tattoo. I'm going to whoop his little ass. To the Conor McGregor killer, Nate Diaz, new man of the hour in the UFC. The man of the whole UFC. Yeah, it was happening. Nate Diaz is an absolute star. He 
with the guy that you buy the tickets for. What's the Twitter fight with Justin Bieber all about? Oh yeah, he, he, hey man, uh, I saw Drake too. I think one of the reasons why Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor was so big is because people love Nate Diaz too. About Conor, we got the man who beat Conor right here. And you ready for some questions? Yep. Okay. After the fight, will you take Conor under your wing and teach him the ways of the American ninja? <laughs> hey, he should have joined a long time ago. <laughs> Conor, he's that man calling for a rematch. Would you be down for that? I'm sure he does want a rematch. I've wanted a lot of rematches too. So, uh. <laughs> Connor, RDA, or GSP? No money. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gives. You gotta put him in against Nate again, because that's the big money rematch. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate it very much. UFC 200. First one for you. I'll go after what that guy over there said. Where's McGregor? <laughs> I think he's in Iceland. You have to show up to promote the fight. You have to show up to the press conferences and, and shoot the commercials. I, I mean, is it too much to ask to try to shoot a commercial or, or to do the promotion of the, for, for the fight? Breaking news, Conor McGregor is officially out of UFC 200. The UFC 202 takes place Saturday, August 20th at T-Mobile Arena. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Who has the first question? He's on his way. The way it all panned out, I've got other business to handle after this fight, but make no mistake, it will be a trilogy fight down the line. It won't be straight away, but we will we will do it three times 100%. Your whole team. Little crackhead SS. You'll do nothing. You'll do nothing. Shut your fucking mouth, you'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Fuck you! That's all right. Hey, 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 the Connor, Connor, don't throw those fucking can Connor, Connor. That's a wrap. Get him out of here. Introducing the UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor, and his opponent. The rematch is now just moments away. Look at this line of security. Nathan Diaz. He is a fighter. That's it. Nothing else. The world is watching again. Don't the rules for that. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch close touch now, good luck to you both of you. Like I said the first time, not a chance. And again, over and over. Fight going according to plan thus far for McGregor. Defiance and disdain. These men wear it like a suit of armor. Nate putting pressure on him. He senses Connor slowing down. Nate is sensing Connor McGregor getting tired, and he's starting to put pressure on Connor. Nate put pressure on him. And again, big combination.
Touchdown! Oh, surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! What did you think about the decision? I thought I'd win that fight. They can't have a motherfucker like me winning. I'm too real for this sport. I want number three. I gave him number two the second day, so I'm ready to go again. Fuck yeah. Good job today, Connor. But we go for three. For real. Congratulations on an excellent performance, Nate. It was a great fight to, to watch. And tell Van Eyck coming back. Coming back. Um, why, why Anthony Pettis? Um, I think it was just uh, the the best fight. Uh, he, he's coming off a good win. It's a guy that I, I would actually enjoy watching over the rest of these fighters. Everybody's everybody's pretty uh, pretty. Uh, it, it's getting boring. It's Nate Diaz taking on Anthony Pettis. Nate Diaz has not fought since his rematch with Conor McGregor. Anthony Pettis has moved up to 170, coming off that beautiful knockout win over Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. These two are going to meet in the middle. The best part about this whole thing, I got kicked out of school for fighting and selling weed. <laughs> and now, for a professional career, I'm fighting and selling CBD. <laughs> I'm here with Nate Diaz. It's great to see you back in the octagon. Give us your thoughts about what it feels like to be back and how you feel about tomorrow night. I feel like it's time to fight. That's what I'm here for. So it's kill or be killed, like I was saying. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm here for. He is the man the majority of these fans have come to see tonight. One of the biggest superstars of the game. This crowd tonight, it seemed like he was the main event. They were Diaz, Diaz all night. Do you think that we have another, you know, Rousey, McGregor level, level star with Nate Diaz, given the way people are reacting to him now? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty tough to deny. Yeah. He's a needle mover now. <laughs> What's up, New York? How are you? Oh, UFC 244, Masvidal versus Diaz. He manifested this belt. I mean, this is literally out of Nate Diaz's mind that we're here tonight and I couldn't be happier. Wait a minute. 
driving it off. No way. What? Wow. And he got the job done like he was supposed to, so right on to uh, Jorge for what he did. But I'm coming back for your ass, motherfucker. Would you like to run this fight back, Nate? Right back. Right back. Let me heal up and let's go again. You know why I love this so much? I love it because it came out of the blue, unexpected. It's uniquely Nathan Diaz, right? Here he is fighting the number two or number three best welterweight on the planet, a guy who hasn't lost in nine fights. Here he is fighting in a month and a half at 170 pounds, and here he is, Chael, making history once again. He is fighting in the first five-round non-title fight co-main event in UFC history. Nate, as far as the fight itself with Leon, I mean, stylistically, is it one that excites you? Is it one that gets you pumped up for the challenge, or is this just a business assignment? I know you wanted the best best fighter you could fight. What was the question? <laughs> so I'm, I'm pumped to fight a worthy opponent, and that's what I'm here for. I'm coming to win. So. Soak it in, folks. Star power, the consummate fighter's fighter, the realest of the real, 36-year-old. open the fight game's imagination by calling his shots. At some point, he became the fight game's imagination. The great orchestrator of his own destiny, the heart of the 209, and the defiance to be who he's always been, which is the realest of the real.